and I want to show you today how to descale your coffee machine using citric acid. That's the label on the back, citric acid. The main thing that you need to know before you start is that if you didn't do it before, it's very, very risky and it might clog up your machine. So the steam one, it might get clogged up. It might not build enough pressure afterwards because the scaling on the inside, it might clog up the valves, it might clog up the wand. So if you didn't do this scaling before, you might ruin your machine. But if you don't do this scaling, you will ruin the machine. So it's at your own risk. If you follow what I do, it might not work for your machine and you might break it. Okay, so what we got here, that's the container where the water goes, we'll discard this water. The amount of citric acid we need is around one tablespoon, one tablespoon is around 15 grams, so one tablespoon uh, for a descaling a machine that it's often being descaled and up to four tablespoons if um, if you know that there is a, a lot of scale built up on the inside but if you put four tablespoons and you try to descale it with a lot of scale on the inside it will clog up so you know do your maths if it's very very contaminated maybe two tablespoons and then you know go with the water through it and then try with four tablespoons like two liters I think that's a liter of, of water it takes so for this one we'll use two tablespoons for one liter of water one tablespoon tablespoon okay I'll stop it up there we go we got a solution of I start leaking a little bit solution of uh, 30 grams of citric acid to one liter of water let's give it a little bit of stir so what we're going to do now we will turn on the machine we'll let it heat up then we will let the flow goes through the head and at the same time we'll let the flow go through the wound as well some machines like like this one it can be only one side for the head or the other side for the wound but this one this one can be at the same time you can open the wound at the same time you uh, flush the head so we'll do that because we don't need a pressure we don't need a high pressure for the circulation of the water we just need the citric acid to touch the scale and dissolve the scaling and we'll hope that it doesn't uh, it doesn't clog up anything but very often it will and you will need to dismantle everything to find where the where the clogging up is okay so let's turn it on let's see which one it is mm. 
Okay, let's warm it up. Let's find the tank up. Maybe this one. The best thing to do is to put a flat container underneath it. I haven't used this machine for a long time, so I'll just give it a, a quick clean. Okay, so it's warmed up now. Should we use a? Yeah, I think it's gonna be better if we use a cup just to show you what is gonna flow, what is gonna flow initially out of the head because it's probably gonna be bad. It's not that bad actually. Sometimes you can see that maybe after the third or second attempt we'll go yellowish color. So we need to turn it on and off, on and off till it becomes clean. This one is very clean, I'm actually surprised, but uh, you need to flush it till it becomes clean. Let's throw this one in there. And you can also see particles from the bottom as well. Put it back together. So we'll leave it soaking for 15 minutes, turn it on again, soak it for 15 minutes, turn it on again, and I think this will finish the container, yeah it's half full. So leave it for 15 minutes, turn it on again, and it becomes very clean, so I didn't know the machine is so clean, I was hoping to be more dirty so I can show you uh, the big difference. but you'll see on yours so if you're on 
uh, it's very dirty it might clog up it might clog up something on the inside it may break and not want to work so be very careful when you're doing it okay i'll stop the video for half an hour we'll turn it on and off again and um we'll show you what what else does it needs to be done to be flushed and not have any citric acid inside the pipes okay we'll start the second round of uh of flushing I gave the <coughs> coffee machine a little cleanup. You can do the same. You wait 15 minutes anyway, so. Okay, another 15 minutes and it will be round number three. I looked at the water is actually very clean. Your one will be probably a lot more dirtier. Okay, third flush. Just check how much water we got. Almost on the minimum. When it starts to run out of water, just top it up. So what's gonna happen? I'll continue running. I'll leave it running. And I'll stop it in a second. And we'll flush it with one full container of water maybe once or twice depending on on uh, how much you had to run it for if you had to uh, flush it with one container of uh, citric acid just flush it with one container of water if you had to flush it like two three times then flush it two three times to flush flush the acid out of the system There is a little bit of uh, there is a little bit of uh, gunk inside, but I think it's just uh, coffee. Okay. Rinse the container, top it up to full, spill water everywhere, and a full container. I forgot to put the here. Here you can uh, give this throat adapter a clean as well. I think this one is clean nicely on this one. This one is okay. No, that's not a good idea.
Okay, so full flush of the uh, citric acid. Top it up with uh, fresh water and make yourself a coffee with nice clean coffee machine and be happy that you don't drink in limestone. Hope I helped you.